What's up guys, in this video, I'm going to make a comparison between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra with Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, both the devices has been launched a couple of days ago, and both are coming with the same moniker of Ultra in their naming. A lot of people would not expect it from Xiaomi, but the Chinese giant just launched the best camera phones on paper, and the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra offers a fantastic camera department, and it's also the best Xiaomi phone up to date. Having said that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is also one of the best camera phones, we have encountered it as the best design of the camera displays on the back side, and the camera bump on the Note 20 Ultra is more impressive than the Mi 10 Ultra, but anyhow let's move towards the comparison between the both the devices in terms of specifications, so starting from the design of both the devices, Xiaomi is coming with a device which doesn't support the waterproof of a phone whereas the Note 20 Ultra is coming with an iPages 68 certification. Furthermore the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra offers a stainless steel frame and a new Gorilla Glass Victus protection on the front and the rear of the gloss, whereas we don't see any kind of protection on the back side of panel of the Mi 10 Ultra. You know Note 20 Ultra is going to be definitely the best device in terms of build quality and even it comes with more beautiful design. So moving on towards the display, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has one of the best standing display out there with USD plus resolution a high brightness outstanding colors and refresh rates of 120Hz. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra still comes with a great panel including 120Hz of refresh HDR10+. But it cannot be compared with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in any way. Last but not the least note that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports the S Pen. With 9 milliseconds of our response time is an added advantage in the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which we doesn't see in the Mi Note 10 Ultra, while both the devices are also supporting an in-display fingerprint scanner. But the in-display fingerprint scanner which we have seen in the Note 20 Ultra is an ultrasonic and it is more secure than the optical fingerprint scanner which we will see in the Mi 10 Ultra. So talking about the camera sensor of both the devices, it will be top 5 between the Xiaomi Media and Ultra and Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But on the paper Xiaomi Military Ultra looks more impressive. It has 248 megapixel main camera sensors and the periscopic lens of 120 time of zoom, dual optical image stabilization, 12 megapixel telephoto sensor, with 2 time of optical zoom and 20 megapixel of ultra wide sensor. The most amazing camera setup ever and it is going to be a vertical shape. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is coming with 108 megapixel of a camera sensor on the back side, along with that a 12 megapixel of a telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel of ultra wide camera sensor, and with that it is also coming with a laser autophagus camera supported on the back side, and that is going to be the best thing which is going to be happening. It says the video recording is supported in both the devices, but 108 megapixel advantages are more far enough than the Mi 10 Ultra. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra has hold the number one position in the deaction mark in terms of camera department, so clearly we will see a better camera sensor inside the Mi 10 Ultra as compared to Note 20 Ultra, now moving on towards the internals of both the device as well. The US version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has the most advanced hardware department, because it is fueled by the new Snapdragon 865 Plus mobile platform. But if we consider the U version with Exynos 990, well it's fall behind the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra powered by Snapdragon 865 paired with 16GB of RAM and UFS 3.1 internal storage. All of the phones are running Android 10, out of the box with their own custom skin on top of that. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra has 4500 million power of a battery just like the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but it has to manage a smaller display with lower resolution, that is why we believe it will be more on a single charge. Meanwhile the technology which is used in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra display, is more power efficient than we have seen in any of the devices, having said that they meet 10 Ultra further. It has the fastest charging technology ever seen on a phone which is going to be 120 watts as well as the is wireless charging technology of up to 50 watt and that is going to be an impressive thing which is available in the Mi 10 Ultra because we can charge our device in 23 minutes using these 120 watt of a charger which is also available inside the box 
but in terms of Galaxy Note 20 Ultra you will have a support for 45 watt of a charging compatibility also it is supported by reverse wireless charging and wireless charging and inside the box, you will only find a 25 watt of a charger inside and in order to use the 45 watt of compatibility for the device you have to buy a charger separately. So lastly it's going to be the price of both the devices, Mi 10 Ultra carries the starting price of $766 in China, and Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is coming with a price tag of $1300. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is more complete device due to the S Pen support waterproof design amazing build quality better display but it lacks very fast charging speed. But Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is an amazing camera phone and a fast charging compatibility is also supported inside the device and it has the highest value of money right now. So guys what are your opinion regarding these pairs and what is your choice of a device? Which device you want to buy the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra or the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, subscribe the channel will be amazing. My name is Arjun. This is Digital Outside, I'll catch you in the next one.